everybody uh, you can see over my shoulder I got uh, quite the view of the mountains ski resorts uh, I know one of my videos the uh, pothole frogger video I'll leave a link to that down below in the, in the description I mentioned going over the notch and the notch uh, was closed during the winter so we're actually going to take a, uh, a little drive over smugglers notch today what I'll do is um, I'm going to go up the Jeffersonville side which is where we are now down over the mountain into Stowe and then I'll turn around and come back up so you can get both perspectives on coming up both sides uh, smugglers notch named for uh, smugglers. Uh, War of 1812. This was a smuggling route from Boston to Canada. It was also part of the Freedom Trail for uh, slaves uh, escaping to freedom going to Canada. And it was also used during Prohibition as well. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful drive. Uh, it's nice in the summer, absolutely breathtaking in the fall. And we'll do that trip once the leaves start to turn. So hang on and let's go for a ride through the notch. 108, which is the route that goes from uh, Cambridge to Stowe over the notch. And uh, I'm going to turn off the sound recording and I'll, uh, I'll overplay some, uh, some music uh, so you can enjoy the uh, drive. And then if there's any, uh, anything that pops up, what I'll do is I'll put it a, 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 a subtitle in the actual video so you can just enjoy the View. What I do want to point out is this flashing sign, notch road open, no tractor trailers. Every year, multiple tractor trailers get stuck trying to attempt going through the notch. Even with multiple signs on both sides, the drivers pay no attention to the road signs, follow their GPS directions, and get stuck. And it is an hours long ordeal getting the trucks either backed down or they have to call a wrecker in to try and tow them get them turned around or get them unstuck as you will see from some of the turns coming up
Okay, so that was our trip from the Jeffersonville side through Cambridge, up over the notch, down into Stowe. And where we come out is uh, right around the Stowe Mountain Resort. And I'm going to, um, if you look behind me here, you should be able to see over my shoulder, uh, there should be a tram goes up uh, the mountain that runs, uh, I believe, year round tourists in the summer and skiers in the winter. All right, so this is the Smuggler's Notch picnic area. Let's see what this little sign says. So this is a nice little plaque, and I'm hoping you can read this despite the glare. So this is one of the original stone fireplaces that were built by the Conservation Corps. Uh, currently in the middle of being renovated and rehabbed for continued use. Around, you'll see there's another couple, two or three back in the woods. There, there's another one there, a couple of picnic tables, nice, beautiful spot. And they do have a uh, toilet facility here. Practice carry in, carry out. I did check, there is nobody in here. Give you an idea. They do use a recycling toilet system. And they, looks like they do have one that is uh, handicapped accessible as well. Larger area and does have a changing station. Okay, so the bathrooms are right back there, and then coming down, there is a few more fireplaces in the middle of being rehabbed, and then we do have the start of a hiking trail. And this is the Barnes Camp Loop Trail. Hopefully you can get this mile and a half 400 foot elevation change loop so it's a nice little hiking trail and then some of the backcountry ethics okay so now we are pulling out of the smugglers notch picnic area and we'll head back up and over <laughs>
Well, there we have it, folks. We are right back where we started from, back on the Cambridge side. That was a nice trip up over Smuggler's Notch, and then uh, down to the Stowe side, and then back up and over. So you get the perspective of what both sides are. It's a nice trip, kind of a little travel back through history, uh, route smugglers used, uh, route that the slaves used during Prohibition. It was used as well. Now it's a, a really good, uh, nice, pretty drive access to a lot of hiking trails so uh, if you found this a uh, little entertaining i would appreciate a little tippy tap on that uh, like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure around vermont and with that i'm out